Oh, my hair keeps getting into everything. Greetings, Earthlings, and Happy New Year. I would like to start by saying, holy cow, I am so <laughs> tired. I have been sick, I moved, it has been crazy. But I do have some good news, for I went shopping. Yes, I hit up Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and I have some goodies that I want to share with you. As you can see, I am not completely done with my makeup. There are a few things that I want to try on camera. Lucky you, because I really don't like doing it this way, but I should. Um, so, let's... Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try is this... Kevin Aquan Neo Setting Powder. I got this from Marshalls. It was on clearance for $15. I found this on the Kevin Aquan website where it is on sale for $40, originally $58. I'm not sure why this was on clearance at Marshalls other than the box smelled like a perfume had leaked on it. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but $15 is a lot better than $58. Now this says that it's supposed to take any matte look and make it not matte and <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it. I did already set my foundation with a regular powder and this could very well make or break my look. If this is going to make my entire face shiny, the video should end right there. But let's try. This looks interesting. That's why I wanted to buy it. It looks bright white when you swatch it. This is a setting powder. A setting powder. So let's see what happens. That's not nearly as bad as I expected it to be. I thought it would be like putting a highlighter all over my face. But it just gave my skin a very subtle glow. So the next thing I got that I'm really excited about is this MAC Look in a Box. Soft Sophistication. I paid $30 for this. It's $50 on the MAC website. A $118 value, I think it was. It comes with all full-sized products, or at least I'm pretty sure they're full-size products. It comes with two single eyeshadows, a blush, a lipstick, an eyeliner, and... A mascara. I already know that I love this mascara. The two eyeshadow shades are in Politeness Needed. It's a frost and Soft Sophistication. It is a satin. I don't really know what kind of look I would want to do with these. They're not really my favorite colors, but I can start with putting this one in the crease, I suppose. It's a gray color. Ooh. Oh, that's a pretty face. Well, the eyeshadows are really nice, but I'm not a big fan of the colors. Then we have a Graph Black Technical Liner. I'm gonna maybe just smudge this on the lash line. I don't like eyeliner. <laughs> well, it's a nice eyeliner, I just don't like eyeliner because I'm not good at it and I feel like my eyes are not made for eyeliner. I'm really not digging this eye look at all. Mm. Before I do mascara, I'm gonna try out the blush. This one is in Bashful Are We? It's a satin blush. Definitely has a sheen to it. I can tell that for sure. It's not horrible though. I mean, I've definitely worn worse blushes. All right, so now we're gonna use the, I think it's called the In Extreme Dimension Mascara. I already know that I love this mascara. It's one of my favorites.
I feel like usually the mascara looks better when I don't have eyeliner on, but I really do love this mascara. It's so pretty. All right, now even though I have incredibly dry lips, I'm going to use this matte lipstick in Velvet Teddy. Okay, that is a gorgeous color, and it goes on so nice. I really, really like that lipstick. Mm. Oh, that is so beautiful. I did get another lip product. I got from Buxom a full-on lip polish in Caroline. This one is, I don't know, kind of just like a, a pinky color. I'm not going to put it on top of this lipstick, but it is pretty it's right there I love these lip glosses they taste good they feel good they last a really long time and I only paid $3.99 for this and these are $21 I do believe all right I do have one more makeup product before we get into the other things that I got I got a Smashbox photo finish serene greens primer water when these first released it came with there was also a citrus one and a coconut one, and I really wanted to try them. I regret buying this. I did try it. This was $20. I think they were $32 when they came out. I don't think they're available anymore, but you can still get the original one. This smells like sweaty socks. This smells so bad. I don't even want to spray it on me, but... I'm smells so bad like I honestly feel like maybe it's expired and that's why it smells like that all right so now moving on to the last few things I got some body products first from TJ Maxx I got these they were on clearance for $2.50 they're by the body shop I love the body shop this one comes with a travel size Shea shower cream, a travel sized Shea whipped lotion. I'll find it later. But then I also got one in. See, it comes with a little body poof shower thing. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Mango shower gel and mango whipped lotion. I love stuff by the body shop. A couple years ago, I bought these same things from Ulta after Christmas on sale, but I don't think it got down to $2.50, so that's pretty cool. And I've talked about this before in other hauls. Philosophy, this is mint chocolate treat. It comes with fresh cream and mint shampoo shower gel bubble bath and hot cocoa shampoo shower gel bubble bath. This was originally $27. I paid $6.50 on clearance. So I think I made out very well in this haul. I am very happy with the MAC look in a box. I'm not a big fan of the eyeshadow shades, um, but the lipstick I like, the blush is nice. I love the mascara and the eyeliner. I don't know, I'll get use out of it. I just don't really ever use it. This, excuse me, I love how this feels. I hate how it smells. This is a very interesting product. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, if I'm gonna continue to use it because, I don't know. It's interesting, that's all I can say, is it's interesting. And $15 is a lot better than 58. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to go film an Ulta haul next, so I'll see you later. Bye!